everybody, welcome to our Rock Your Routine in 2019. This series has fitness, we have health and nutrition, we have meal plans and prep, we have food lists, and more than anything, we have a lot of support. This is a six week journey with me and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for what's to come. seated position on your mat with a seated cat cow. Inhale through the chest, exhale rounding the spine, tuck the chin down, inhale open, exhale take it down, inhale, exhale rounding the spine, one more time. Wonderful, coming into seated position, big head roll to the right, and then a big head roll to the left. Just warming up the neck here. Awesome. From here, spinal twist, left hand over to your right knee, looking over your right shoulder, hips stay square, and then switch to the other side. Great job. We're going to hold on to that right leg, crossing our left hand over, stretching gently through that hamstring. Bring it up a little and extend your right arm out over the shoulder. Modified version would be keeping that front knee bent, looking over your right shoulder. Beautiful. Think of pulling up from the crown of your head, returning to center, knee to chest, pull the leg in, bending your knee, grab that knee, you're all the way down on your mat, hugging that knee, just flexing and releasing the ankle, rolling it around. Now we're going to stretch through that leg, feeling the back of the leg stretching, flexing, and then we're going to slowly bend and press the ceiling away, keeping the knee bent and then extending all the way up, pressing that ceiling away from you, bending the knee into the chest and then pushing up. Bend the knee into the chest, keeping the flexion in your foot, Pushing to extend. Great stretch for the hamstring. In and press. Hold it here. Breathing deeply, pulling that leg in and gently letting it fall down to the ground. And then we're going to release our body all the way up toward the toes flexed feet, reaching for those toes, and we're grabbing the outside of our left foot with our right hand, and then again extending the knee as much as you can, or the modified version with the knee bent, taking that twist, reaching your left arm to the back of your mat, looking over that left arm, hips are square, feeling that deep stretch. Beautiful, coming back to center, and again, knee to chest, and slowly making your way all the way down to the mat. Hugging that left knee into your chest and rolling the ankle, letting go of any tension that foot may have. Also releasing the right hip flexor. And from here, we're going to grab behind the leg, Pushing the ceiling away from you, extending and pressing. Arms can be down by the sides or they can be holding on to the leg. Make sure you're holding on either around the calf or the thigh, not the knee joint. Bending and pressing away. Pushing it out. Point your toes. 
feeling that deep stretch, pulling that leg closer to your nose, remembering to breathe and inhale. Exhale all the way out. And slowly releasing that leg, reach, give yourself a big stretch, rolling yourself up to seated, head to toe forward fold, holding and breathing here, reaching for those toes. Lengthening up, releasing the arms, and coming into a cross leg seated position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, big side stretch. Right arm comes down, left arm is up and over. And slowly switching to the other side. Inhale, big deep breath in. Exhale, taking it over to your left. Both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat. You're lengthening through the side of your body. Think of looking up toward the ceiling. Really great, back to center. Inhale, big reach up with the arms. Exhale, come all the way forward, walking your hands to the top of your mat, allowing your chest to come all the way down. Head down toward the mat. Slowly coming back up. And from here, we're going to bring ourselves over to our hands and knees on the mat with a little cat-cow. Inhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin in. Exhale, arch the back, looking all the way up. Really releasing everything here. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, tuck your toes and slowly come into our downward facing dog. If you wanna come into the modified version, just keep those knees bent. And go ahead and walk that downward dog, letting go of any tension you may feel in your hamstrings. Really feeling a deep stretch, wonderful. And slowly from here, hold, inhale, exhale, bend your knees, hop or walk to the top of your mat. Releasing halfway and exhaling down into forward fold. Releasing the tension in the neck here, rocking side to side. Yes and no, up and down, left and right. Just releasing that neck. Nice nodding motion. You can soften your knees and try to stretch them a little bit more every time. Letting go of any tension you may have here. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Grab those toes if possible. Pulling the head to the knees. If you can't grab those toes, that's fine. Just keep holding on to the backs of your legs or wherever is comfortable for you. Great job, let go of your feet, bend your knees, and slowly roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Palms together, bringing it down to the heart one more time. Inhale, arms up, exhale, diving all the way down to the floor. Stepping our left leg back, here's warrior one. Hips are square, front knee over the ankle. Eagle warrior here, crossing the right elbow over left, intertwining those wrists. Big deep breath in, arching the back. And then exhale, get those elbows to touch the knees. Inhale, open, look up to the sky. Exhale, bring those elbows to knee. Inhale, center. Releasing the arms, reach them up to the sky. Hold. And then slowly from here, stepping forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive to the floor. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bending the knee, stepping back into plank position. 
then we're going to take our chaturanga into either a baby cobra or a more advanced full cobra lifting up. Bring it down, come on up to your knees, sit back to child's pose. Come on up to all fours, inhale, exhale, little cat cow here, inhale into it, and exhale into that arch. Tuck your toes, and from here coming back into that downward facing dog, See if you can go even a little bit further this time, walking it out on the spot. Beautiful. And from here, soften your knees and hop up or walk to the top of your mat, releasing your hands, head to your knees. Interlacing your fingers behind your back, shoulder stretch here. Allow your hands to fall forward toward the top of your mat allowing your head to come as close to your knees as possible. Bending your knees, slowly rolling yourself up to standing, releasing the arms, now grasping them again, standing cobra, opening the heart up to the sky, coming back to center, inhale, reaching the arms up, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, arms up, Exhale, dive it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend your knee, stepping your right foot back into that warrior one. Reach the arms up. Left knee over the ankle. Eagle warrior, interlacing your elbows and your wrists. Arching back. And then all the way forward to the knee. moving the body up and down with fluidity. Open, exhale, take it down. And coming back up, back to center, releasing the arms, reaching both arms up and hold. From here, stepping forward, top of the mat, inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, step back to plank position. Back to that chaturanga. Chest and then chin, cobra or baby cobra. Come back down. Pushing back to your knees, sit back to child's pose. Take a moment to breathe in. Exhale, rolling yourself back up. Nice job, everybody. That was your toning yoga workout.